All right, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to talk about um, acquiring the value of z-scores, z right? And here we have two z-score areas that we want to calculate, right? The first one says the probability that the z-score is less than negative 1.53, which is a pretty straightforward problem, right? Right, so what we want to do here is we want to match our z-score to the area that it corresponds to. And in the middle of this paper here, we see all these different areas, and we could tell the areas because this tells us, right? Standard normal z distribution, cumulative area from the left, right? And so what this means is if we drew a tree a, a diagram, the areas of all of these z squares, whatever the mark of the z square is, it's this area that corresponds to the left side of the z square. Our first problem here says the probability that z is less than negative 1.53. And using a negative z-score chart, what we do then is take this decimal number, right, and we divide it. The first thing we divide it to is the symbol, the sign actually, and the first two digits, while the remainder of the number gets separated and broken down into separate pieces. So if we add this to this, we get this. So we find the negative 1.5 on the left-hand side here on the z-chart, on the z-column, and we see negative 1.5 is all the way down here. Then we take the second component, 0 0.03, which is right over here, and we're going to mix these two, right? Just like a multiplication sheet, right? We're going to go on the line on the row of negative 1.5 and go down the column of 0 0.03, and we get this area here of 0 0.0630, right? So the area that corresponds to the z-score of negative 1.53 is 0 0.0630. And that covers that one. Now let's go to the second one here. And here we have the z-score of 2.54, negative 2.54. But this time, instead of pointing to the left, it's pointing to the right, right? Now again, the same way that we did this one, we're going to do the second one. However, since this area is pointing to the right, what we technically have is not an area to the left, which is what all of these values represent on the chart. Instead, we have a negative z-score of negative 2.45, and this area is shaded to the right, not to the left, right? And because the area is shaded to the right, we actually have what we call the complement of what the area represents. So what we ought to do to get this area is find the area of 2.45 and say 1 minus this area gives me the area to the right, because if this area gave me the area to the left with this number, if I do 1 minus, which 1 represents the whole area of the z-score chart here, I would get the same area to the left. So here I have the z to the right of negative 2.45 is the same thing as 1 minus the z to the left of negative 2.45. So here I have my 1. Let's find the area of negative 2.45. Again, we're going to take the first two digits, negative 2.4. We're going to find it on this chart. And here's negative 2.4 on this white line right here. And the 0 0.05 is what we have to get. So we go down here, 0.05. And we're on the white line here. We're crossing over till we get to the 0 0.05. And our area here is 0 0.0071. And now to get the area to the right, which is what we're looking for, for all of this shaded area, we're going to just take the difference of the two. And this gives us 0 0.9929. And that's our area for the z-score to the right of negative 2.45. Now, continuing with positive z-scores, we're going to deal with two situations of the same thing. We already saw that taking a, a z-score and going to the left is easy. You just have to have the chart and have the left side. However, here, what we have is going to the right of 1.5. We're looking for the area of a z-score that's going greater than 1.5. So here what happens is all the negative z-scores on the left side, all the positive are on the right of this line where z equals 0. And we're over here at 1.50. And what happens is we're looking for the area to the right of the line. Now, if you notice, the z-score chart always talks about the cumulative area to the left. So what we have to do again is to get the area to the right is say 1 minus the area to the left. So to get the area of the z-score to the right of 1.5, 0, this becomes 1 minus the area to the left. Now. Here we know that the area to the left of 1.50, we go to 1.5 again on the left-hand side. We take the first two digits, and the last digit is going to be 0, 0, because it's 1.50, right? 
So the first two digits are 1.5, the last digit is 0, so we go where these two meet. And we get 0 .9, 0 0.9332. 9, not 9932, but 9332. And when we take the difference of these two, we get 0 0.0668, which is the area to the right of 1.50. And this represents this area right here. All right? Now, for the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to get the area between two z scores, where one is negative and one is positive. Lucky for us, one is already the area to the left of 1.50. So right here, I'm just going to write a little note showing me that the area to the left of 1.50 of the z-score is 0. It's 0 0.9332. And we're going to use this for our next piece here. And for the first one, we're going to have to go down to the negative z-score chart. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to have the negative z-score chart come up here. And we're going to try to bring this just about right here is perfect, right? A little up. And this is the perfect mark for it. So here, what we're going to do then is get the area between the two. And I'm going to explain this to you guys as I'm doing it, right? So to get the area between the two Zs, again, what we want to do is take the two Z scores. and separate this into two z's, right? So the first z we're going to separate it into is p of z, it's less than 1.50, and we're subtracting the smaller one, which is always the one on the left in comparison to the right, all right? So here we have negative 1.50, and what we need to do, since we know the first area we just solved for it in the last problem, we know this is 0 0.9332, and the second one here, is negative 1.50, which is similar to the one we just did before, of 1.50. So negative 1.50, we go to the z column, we get negative 1.5, and again, the zero matches, and we get this area of 0 0.0668. And if we remember the area to the right of 1.50, not to the left, right, the left is 0 0.9332, but to the right, we also have the same area. That's because Z-scores are symmetric, right? And now, what we want to do is define this before we get to the final solution of what this actually looks like, because we're, we're subtracting areas here. The first area is to the left of 1.50. The second area is to the left of negative 1.50. So our Z-score chart, we have the zero here, where the negative and positive meet. And on this side, we have the negative 1.50. Over here, we have the positive 1.50. And here, the negative one, the positive 1.50 goes first. So the 1.50 is all of this area, including the negative 1.50, because 1.50 is greater than negative 1.50. But the second area that we're, we're actually going to cut away from this big area is this area, the left of negative 1.50. So everything to the left of negative 1.50, we're going to cut out of this area. And so the way this works is the bigger area over here, this marker, represents 0 0.9332, whereas this little marker here represents 0 0.0668. And this large area, we're cutting out this small area from, and we get this result. We're subtracting the smaller one. And our result is 0 0.86. Six and four. And that's the area between these two curves. Thank you for watching.